Hi everybody! I promised I would come back with a fresh video when I wasn't such a cranky pants. Um, and I definitely was last night when I finished doing all this. Um, I'm going to go through my January layout process um, and just show you guys what I have so far. Um, January is a five week month, so I was particularly stressed out and very tired when I finished this. Um, it doesn't have near the amount of inserts that it will obviously by the end of the month because I kind of go week by week. Um, I'm also still learning how to plan a month in advance, so it's a new concept for me entirely. But I'm planning a month in advance so I can show you guys everything, but also so I can have more peace of mind at work, at home, all of that. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. First things first, for these January birthdays, um, I actually used these guys, these awesome stickers from Heidi Swap. They are her memory planner stickers. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. I know for a fact because that's where I got mine. They come in two different sizes. Um, in the pack, there's ones that are a little bit larger like this. And then ones that are kind of super teeny tiny like that. I use the super teeny tiny ones for my January birthdays. Um, what I'm really excited about with this is that I'm going to be able to buy like extension packs and things. Um, or just kind of number wherever I want. I don't like putting like random numbers next to each other. Like I don't want to have a one sticker and an eight sticker to put 18. So I like that it's all in one sticker. Um, but I went through on Facebook and just kind of saw what birthdays are coming up in January that I would want to know about. Um, new friends, old friends, interesting people like my area managers in there, which is kind of cool. Um, as far as special events, I put my Leadership Academy dates, which is a really big deal to me. Um, it's the 5th through the 8th. That's when I get to go to Nebraska, and that's going to be pretty fun and adventurous for me. So it's special to me. Um, I'm kind of going to leave for important dates and don't forget, um, maybe for things that happen. Um, maybe something really big might happen, um, and I'll want to put the date down. So I'm actually keeping my small sticker pack in my um, back pocket folder thing in the back. Um, another thing, they have hearts, little geotag stars, smiley faces on this little sheet as well, which is kind of awesome. So that's just another little fun side note of having these guys. Um, as far as January goals, I did a resolutions page. Um, this little washi tape right here is from this tube from recollections um michael's it's full price uh nothing really on sale about it uh so you can get it kind of anytime sorry i'm gonna scoot up so that you guys can see that um obviously i used the polka dot and then i just kind of sharpie wrote over it tw uh, 2016 resolutions i made it too short to really do any of the alpha stickers that i liked and again it was literally getting late and i was just so frustrated um as far as resolutions go, I kind of make a lofty list every year. And it's always really fun to see what actually gets done. But I try to be a little bit more precise. And I'm going to start making plans to how to get each one done. So like my first one is say $5,000. Okay, well, how am I going to do that? Um, so I'll make like some crazy outlandish thing. A lot of times it comes from things like tax refunds. And I save a certain amount every month. So I'll make little plans and insert them in my planner so that I can check them off as I go, of course. Um, but yeah, so as far as goals go, I have a resolutions page, but I also set January goals for myself. Um, I set one for school, one for work, um, one for fitness, one for financial, and one is a craft. So I'm going to film at least one video a week this month. Um... And no, I don't get to like say, oh, okay, well, I did three, so I'm good for three weeks. I really want to come into giving you guys one video a week. Um, if I had a blog last year and I tried it for a couple weeks and I got really frustrated because I felt like no one was looking at it. So if I will put it to a vote. And if you guys think I should do a blog, tell me. I think that would be really helpful if I know that people are excited about it um i because i would really like to expand all this past just crafts i would love to do makeup which is something that's really near and dear to me and i would love to also do wardrobing because after all that is my job and has been my job for three beautiful years um 
so yeah, I would love to kind of expand the empire. So I'd love to hear your thoughts because obviously you're watching. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with reading all my resolutions. Um, plus some of you might be able to read them. I don't know. I kind of write like a cheerleader and it's super bubbly and annoying. So it's kind of hard to read sometimes. Um, I didn't do anything on the back side just in case I kind of want to keep a running list or if I just want to start making um, my plans, I guess. Um, the things you're about to get really good is the tab. I really need to go back and put packaging tape over all of my dividers because I don't know if it would make it a whole nother year with how tore up they already look. Um, I haven't put any card inserts or anything in here yet. Um, and as you guys can see, I really don't sticker a lot. I don't, I believe a planner is meant to be a planner. I love all the people that get so excited and put all this time and effort and do the printouts and all of that week by week. But I just feel like we kind of get away from the fact of what it should be and what it really is. I, I have a 40 hour a week job and I have a personal life and I love to craft and I love all that. But at the same time, I really enjoy the concept of it being a planner. Um, as you can see, I already started using some of my stamps. I got really frustrated because this one smeared because Binks decided to walk right over it, which I love her helpful hands sometimes. Um, I also learned that like certain stamps were bigger than others. I hate how disorganized this looks and it looks sloppy to me. Um, so I promise February's will be much prettier. Um, so I just did like the days that like credit card bills were due. I put like a little card the day for car insurance. Um, I put my payday stamps, which I wish I had done in green. Why didn't I think to do that? Because I was tired. That's why I did a light bulb and electric for that. Um, I don't usually put a lot on this page because the boxes are so small. I want to make sure I have room for everything. So yeah. Um, that's that. So on to the next page. This is his current week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over super fast because that's not, that, those are all Alfie's bills. <laughs> I just wrote them down because I do planning for both of us. Um, and even though he's not in my planner, I know I kind of help him plan all that stuff. Um, I'll just tuck this back a little bit. I used the Mambi washi tape um, that came in like the pretty set that I think is super cute. And then a Be True to Who You Are sticker. Um, and then a little heart sticker here as far as that page goes. I've talked about this before. I usually list 9 million things to do on my days off, which this week are Monday and Wednesday. And like, there's not a whole lot on Wednesday because there's still tons left for Monday. So I haven't filled it in yet, but I've also developed this obnoxious to do pad, which I love my knock knock stuff. If you watch the video, I have a ton of it. Um, I like this so much more. I'm literally keeping a notepad at work and I'm keeping one at home and I'm constantly writing stuff down, which I think is handy and great. That's Binks. Everybody say hi. <laughs> um, the stickers came from, that I used for the entire layout, I kid you not, came from either one of these. I didn't use each pack completely, but I definitely pulled from both of these. These are Hobby Lobby buys, $2.49, okay? One pack is great, but if you get two, you can swap off every other week and have enough for an entire five-week layout and still have stickers left over. I accidentally double buyed, so I had these twice. So they might end up in a giveaway, or I might keep them. I haven't decided yet. Um, like I said, I do want to try to start doing more giveaways. So make sure you guys start following, watching, sharing your thoughts, because that's what's going to get you guys votes or something. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the giveaways yet. Um, but like I said, I'm using a to-do pad. It has a tasks, errands, correspondence, and notes section. And I'm kind of waiting until it gets full. And I don't think I could fill an entire one in a week if I tried. But I'm trying to like use one each week. I didn't staple it. I didn't. I'm not going to arc punch it in here. I am going to leave it just as it is because I want to transfer these things over to the pages as I go along so I can kind of like get a handle 
on how many things I do every week, I get a little obnoxious about it. And there's so many little things on here, like get my Christmas pictures off, off my phone. It doesn't need to take space up in this. And that's one big problem that I'm noticing with these people who decorate to such a high extent. That's great. But where are you actually planning? Are we just decorating our little hearts out? Sorry, I'm on a rant now, which is unnecessary. I use my little denim clip. Um, I use the do more of what makes you happy on the first because that's what I want to do all year. I want to do more of the things that make me happy. I want to blog. I want to do videos. I want to do giveaways. I want to save $5,000. I want to um, have all my Christmas shopping done at the end of October and do silly random things, but also read more and cook more and do that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of starting the year off with that little thought. Um, so now we're just going to go on to the next week. Obviously, this is next week. I am going to be in Nebraska. So I have like nothing planned because I don't even have the itinerary for the trip. They haven't even sent it to us, which is making me crazy. If you're a planner and nobody tells you what to do, it makes you nuts. Um, obviously, I use the little flamingos. I like the Oh Darling, Let's Be Adventurous because that's my flight day. And that's the first full day in Nebraska. This it says, be kind, be lovely, be amazing. I'm, that's kind of like a reminder to myself because I'll be on the tail end of the trip and I'm not going to be at my best probably by then because I don't ever sleep well when I travel. So it's just kind of my little mantra to myself. <laughs> be all those things. I made little flags out of that, um, that washi tape that I showed you earlier. I'm becoming quite the little pro at that. Um, the be happy, be amazing, which I don't, I don't think, yeah, there you go. You can see that now. And then the fine beauty and the ordinary are all out of this one. Um, this is a pretty phenomenal little washi tape. Um, this came from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a pack with one that has like gold, um, pineapples in it which I thought was hilarious, but it definitely matches um, with both the sets I got. But you peel back this and then it goes on. It's really weird. It's more papery feeling than some of the glossier textured washi tapes that I have played with, but I really like this. I love a good confetti because it'll match everything. Um, I went ahead and started writing bills in it. Now that I have tried to experience crafting or planning a month in advance and realizing how strenuous it is, I'm probably going to start February here in a couple of days. Um, just so that I'm not as tired, I'm not as sloppy about it, and I can give you guys much more advice. Um, and it can be neater. It's going to be so much cleaner. Like, I can't wait to look back at the end of this year and see how much prettier this gets. This is probably one of my favorite weeks because I'm obsessed with this stamp. Or not the stamp, the sticker. It says, if you're happy and you know it. And then it says, clap your hands right there, which I think is cute. Um, these are stamped in little lines of washi tape. Um, I had in my creative, you can go back and watch the video for the Studio L2E stamp. But there's like a creative planner or a creative pack. And you can stamp down. I'm going to have to play with these stamps, guys. It's going to take me a minute to get used to them because they're so much smaller. They're so tiny and you don't really know if you've got everything covered and you're, it, it's hard to handle and make sure you're perfectly in the box. But yeah, um, I really like this. I like teal and baby pink and gold all together. I'm learning. Um, this is the last week. And so I was really starting to get tired. Um, I just did the be yourself and the dreams can take you anywhere. I'm typically off Mondays and Thursdays, so you'll notice that, like, if there's a sticker, it was conveniently placed somewhere where I knew I wasn't going to have a whole long list of things, or I could take the hit of not having the room. And then here's February in all its glory. So that's kind of the end of it. Um, just some learning tips. If you're going to do this, literally, you're going to take an entire afternoon off. I don't know what time I started, but I didn't finish until, like, 11 o'clock last night and I just remember being very tired because it's very tedious 
and because you're stamping a bunch of stuff and you're writing a bunch of stuff and you're trying to learn where you like stuff and I'm still learning how to even plan and then show somebody my planning. So you guys are kind of keeping me accountable to an extent. I'm sure my job is going to love you guys. Um, but yeah, it was very strenuous and very tiring. Another big piece of advice, please use these as planners. Gosh, <laughs> if you want a scrapbook, go get a scrapbook. It's a planner. Use it as a planner. No matter if you want to tape over the whole morning, afternoon, evening, or make it whatever you want to make it. I have seen so many amazing inspirational things just going on the Mandy blog. It's ridiculous, but just people are taking it to an extent. They don't need to. That's all I have to say about it. Um, another side note, in case you guys don't know, Happy New Year's to all of us because Mandy is releasing new stuff. There are going to be three new extension packs. There are going to be a whole bunch of discs packs which is great so say you want to like do a fitness journal a recipe book and a wedding they're doing a wedding one and you want them to have like smaller discs you're not going to add a bunch of stuff to it or say you just really want a very small home planner um a friend of mine is going to buy the smaller discs or reuse her old ones to make her home planner just by itself hi binks we can move you now um but yeah, there's lots of fun stuff coming. And I even commented because I heard that we were going to get a hole punch soon. And I'm guessing February. She said the first of the year, but she didn't say January 1st. And I'm pretty sure she would have just gone ahead and told me if it was going to be in the release. Um, but I'm going to guess somewhere around like February or March then. So that'll be some of my Christmas money to get use. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me rant. Um, please make sure to comment and let me know what you guys want to see now that I can actually craft in front of you. I just need to get an awesome editing program so I can speed it up. Um, and another thing that I would really love is if you guys would want me to re-blog again or restart a blog. Um, so let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.